everyone, and welcome to Paint My Monster with me, your host, Easel Monster. Today is January 18th, and it's the birthday of A.A. A. Milne, Alan Alexander Milne, the creator of Winnie the Pooh. He could read by the time he was two, and even as a young schoolboy, he began to write verses and parodies and humor pieces for his school newspaper. And man, did this guy have an interesting life. He went to Cambridge on a mathematics scholarship, and after graduating, he started contributing to Punch, the leading humor magazine in Britain at the time. Also, he played on the same amateur cricket team with fellow authors Sir J.M. Barry, the guy who made up Peter Pan, and with Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the guy who made up Sherlock Holmes. Before 1924, he had written a bunch of plays and essays, four screenplays and four novels, all of which were successful to one degree or another, but whatever he was successful in, both his agent and his publisher tried to get him to do that thing over and over again. Milne said, The only excuse which I have yet discovered for writing anything is that I want to write it and I should be as proud to be delivered of a telephone directory with love and devotion as I should be ashamed to create a blank verse tragedy at the bidding of others. In 1925, he wrote a collection of short stories for children called Gallery of Children. It was illustrated by Punch staff cartoonist E.H. Shepard, and it eventually became part of the first Winnie the Pooh book, published in 1926. Shepard would go on to illustrate all of the Winnie the Pooh books. When Winnie the Pooh was first published in the United States, Milne said this about Shepard. When I am gone, let Shepard decorate my tomb and put, if there is room, two pictures on the stone. Piglet from page 111 and Pooh and Piglet walking, 157. And Peter, thinking that they are my own, will welcome me to heaven. Christopher Robin is named after Milne's own son, Christopher Robin Milne, and the characters in Winnie the Pooh were inspired by Christopher Robin's own stuffed animals, which are now under glass in New York, where 750,000 people visit them each year. In 2005, Winnie the Pooh generated $6 billion in annual sales, a figure surpassed only by Mickey Mouse. Milne wrote in his poem Vespers, Oh, thank you, God, for a lovely day. And what was the other I had to say? I said, bless Daddy, so what can it be? Oh, now I remember it. God bless me. A. A. Milne was born this day in 1882. Well, that's it for this time. I'll be back soon for a longer visit, and in the meantime... Paint by Monster is made by one monster sitting in a tiny upstairs bedroom studio smack downtown in Muncie, Indiana. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Go make some art and see you next time.